So it's been 25 years. Does this feel like home to you? It sure does. You may recognize his voice before you recognize his face. Well, I was at the Austin airport one time. Somebody recognized my voice. Stopped me walking to an airplane saying, are you, are you the announcer at Cedar Park? <laughs> yeah, oh, I recognize your voice. Brad Cohn has been announcing for the Timberwolves since 1998 when Cedar Park High School opened their door. I'm grateful for the school and LISD to invite me to do this and then to put up with me for a quarter of a century doing this. It's been a great great time. Cohn has created a bond with the community through the love of football. As we bring Brad Cohn to the field for a well-deserved round of applause. He says the community has been part of his family, especially during his cancer diagnosis back in March this year. My two daughters started a GoFundMe page and in just a couple of days the Cedar Park sports community raised all of that money. I mean fans, coaches, ex-coaches, ex-players, some players who are in Major League Baseball or players who are in the NFL who played for us contributed money to it and made our my cancer trip not cost a cent. Cohn says his care team has coached him through the whole cancer journey. The treatment and community support team has really pushed him to continue to do what he loves. Fortunately, uh, as we started talking about what the treatment was going to be like, uh, Dr. Porter said that eh, by August you should have enough energy to be doing football again. And that was true. And I've been doing football since the start of the season. As Cohn is finishing up his cancer treatment this month, he wants to remind other cancer patients to always have faith. There's uh, almost always hope, and so I try to stress that, and, and Mr. Cohn has stayed positive. He has an incredibly supportive wife and family, um, and the community in Cedar Park um, has really rallied behind him as well, and I think that's really uh, the perfect recipe for success for any cancer patient. Just an announcer. He's been a part of the 